following are some reflections from my trip to Slovakia for the erection of the Metropolitan Church of Preshov. As I was walking down a hallway in a hotel in Slovakia, I heard someone behind me say, Hey, hey, hey. I thought, now what did I do? When I turned around, I saw that he was talking on a cell phone and was actually agreeing by saying, Hey, 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 a local way of saying yes, yes, yes. What we say and what is heard may often differ. To communicate, we must be speaking the same language, which may imply the proper choice of words. Actually, one finds many people in Europe who speak English. One reason is that English is the official language of the European Union. Those in the tourist areas have learned that Americans, being somewhat isolated, were duped into believing that English is the only language they need to speak. Perhaps we as Byzantine Catholics have become isolated as well. The celebrations were magnificent and attracted thousands, but out on the street there were plenty of folks who looked with disdain at a priest or nun. Are we communicating with those outside our faith community? One priest asked me, how do Byzantine Catholics in the United States greet each other? I said that they usually use secular greetings such as good morning, they may use glory to Jesus Christ when greeting another in church. He was surprised and asked, Do they not say, Slava Isusu Christu? I responded, Sometimes, but it is more of an ethnic tradition. Some don't even know what it means. I recall a picture of people walking in a Soviet May Day parade. These parades were to celebrate the might of the military. The people were carrying pussy willows. This was also Palm Sunday that year. This expression of faith provided mutual encouragement in a hostile world. This is certainly important, but we dare not stop there. We must proclaim to the world the Christian message. Language is one vehicle of communication, but not the only means. I saw many hats and other clothing proclaiming the wearer's devotion to a sports team or a university. At the airport, a lady from Serbia and I found opportunity to witness to our faith by her pendant and my clerical garb. Coming home and seeing the signs in many yards supporting candidates for public office, I was reminded of our initiative to proclaim in this way, Christ is risen. Such a sign additionally says, I believe. It is important for the world. I want you to know this. The website reinforces this. In a conversation with Father John Zayak, I was confirmed in my decision to require each parish to plan activities in four areas of pastoral activity. He shared that another author explained these four areas as four wheels of a Cadillac the Lord has given us with the understanding that it's up to us to allow it to move forward. Let us proceed through the great fast, with the knowledge that on Easter our Church will boldly proclaim to each other and to the world at large the radiant resurrection. We shall do this with our words, our symbols, but most of all with our actions, strengthened and purified by our Lenten observance.